Hey everyone, Hassan here. Just wanted to put together this quick little video to show you guys. Dun dun dun. dun. iOS 7 right here. So this is the uh, the beta for iOS 7, um, beta 2 if anyone's wondering. Uh, I'm not going to do like a comprehensive guide or anything to iOS 7 showing all the features. I just wanted to show you a couple of the cool little features uh, that I like about it. Um, and uh, yeah, so here it is. As you can see, uh, there's some dynamic wallpaper that you can select. So you have little circles moving around, which is kind of cool. Um, and also from the lock screen, this new redesigned lock screen, you can swipe down to get the notification center, which looks different. As a reminder, I need to uh, upload my new vlog as well that I recorded. You can see email and other notifications under the all category. Um, yeah, and then you can swipe up from the bottom oops, to access the control center, which has all your different toggles like for Bluetooth, brightness, music, all of that, even a handy dandy little flashlight. So that's kind of cool. You don't need a flashlight app anymore. It's built right in. Um, and then you swipe anywhere on here to unlock. And ta-da, there is the iOS 7 home screen. Um, so some redesigned icons that you can see there. Definitely um, different and um, looks kind of cool. And uh, it's a little hard to see, but it, from if I go here, you might be able to tell that the circles in the background are not moving. They usually do though. So that's interesting. Um, oh wait, no, that's just me, sorry. Huh. So you can see if I tilt the phone, the circles start moving and everything. So you can, um, you have dynamic wallpaper there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of interesting. You also can set panoramic wallpaper. So I'll just go to the settings real quick. Um, so I'm already in the, the wallpaper settings. So you have two dynamic ones that are preloaded, but you can set panoramas, and it automatically found all the panoramic photos that I had in here. Um, there is a specific size, though, for it to work perfectly, so if I were to just pick whichever ones, like if I want to do this Power Rangers 20th anniversary one, it's not really going to fit very well, um, and if you kind of lift it up like that, it kind of is a little weird. Um, but I found this one, which is Perfect Dimensions. Um, so you have that. So th imagine this is your lock screen. So you turn on your phone, and you have this as a lock screen. That's really cool, I think. The one downside is this wallpaper has a white background, so you can't really even see the time. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, but you can do this for the lock screen or the home screen. So um, that's pretty cool. Oops. You can also swipe um, to go back. That's um, anything there. You can double tap, and it takes me to the uh, multitasking. Um, so you have full multitasking there. Uh, let's go to Safari. Let's check that out. So we're loading up uh, NintendoFuse.com. Definitely check it out if you haven't already, as well as the Hungry Lizards app, only 99 cents. Um, pretty cool. So yeah, so there's a the website. You also, in landscape mode, can view Notification Center, as well as the control center there, um, so you have complete control over that. Um, also, this is kind of neat, you have a new tab view, so you have the different uh, tab views there, so look at that. Latina Review is revealing Doctor Strange movie in the works, um, but yeah, so that's kind of cool. There's also a unified search bar, so if you want to click on it, you have your little favorites here, you can also just start typing, and let's say I want to go to NeoGAF, so as I start typing, Oops, I misspelled that, but it'll start searching and top hits. I've been to NeoGAF, so it loads it up there. Um, but yeah, um, it's it's pretty sweet. I mean, um, there's just a bunch of, a lot of, like, you know, little changes, a lot of design changes, a lot of things that kind of make, uh, make it a little bit easier. Um, FaceTime's a separate app there. Uh, you have your phone. If I click on phone here, you'll see... Um, the, uh, you know, kind of the redesigned thing there, um, music as well, um, you have iTunes radio, so there's that, I can go to Pentatonix radio, and you have that there, so that's pretty cool, um, what else can I show, the camera app, has filters now, so if you click on that, 
you have different filters. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because I'm not really looking at anything in particular, but there you can sort of see that. Um, and uh, it's also got a new little look there. If I swipe over, it switches to video, as you can see. So that's pretty cool. Um, hey, look, there's a reminder about my vlog. Let's see if it shows up on the lock screen now. Oh, I guess because it already came to me, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the new look there, and you'll see there's the reminder there. Um, so you have that. Um, and you know, that's that's about it for like the main things that kind of stood out to me that were kind of cool. Um, there's, there's a bunch of other little things, like I said. And uh, if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below, and I'll try and take a look and, you know, experiment around and see what I can find. Um, but, uh, yeah. Oh, there's also a new Siri voice, which it was working earlier, and I just tested it right before this video, and it wasn't working. Let's see if it works now. Nope. It keeps going like that. It's not, it's not loading. Um, so the new voice is kind of cool. You can also tell Siri, you can say, pronounce my name, Hassan. So instead of saying... Hassan or whatever you can it'll get, say something a bit closer to the actual pronunciation um, so that's kind of neat but yeah that's um, iOS 7 um, pretty sweet so this is the second beta and uh, I'll be downloading the other betas and seeing what else they add to it but uh, it's pretty cool so far I'm liking it so thanks for watching guys and uh, have a great day see you guys later